Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Collection. We are going to be going on to the final game in the collection now. Aww. Kirby is 64! I don't know how to feel about this game. What, is it, like, bad for N64 standards, or...? I like this game on a lot of... You know, I, like, there's a lot of things I like about this game, and there's a lot of things I don't like about this game. Mm, I'm not okay. going to say I hate it. I'm not going to say I love it. I'd say I like it. It's a Kirby game. But it's more fun to watch than it is to play, I think. <laughs> so, anyway, the story is is that uh, we got a fairy planet getting taken over by who else? Dark fucking matter. But I thought we, like, obliterated him last time. Well, this is kind of like the, the sludge we reduced him to at the end of 3. Oh, okay. You know, you, you know, in the end of Dragon Ball Z, uh, when Frieza was just that little, little bloody clump of mass just floating in space, this is kind of what Dark Matter is. So, Ribbon here takes the crystal shards to take it away from Dark Matter, but they shatter it, and, well, that's Aww, kind of a problem. Crap. So, the crystal shards have been scattered all throughout the universe. <laughs> oh, jeez. How wonderful. So we got right. options here, uh, we got our settings, we got stereo, oh, and this display, oh, that's pretty <gasps> neat. Oh, those are cool! Alright. Well, that, that's cool. Let's get started then! Do we know how to use Kirby's copy ability? Well, uh, it's a little bit different this time around, so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the t tutorial for a sec. Okay. Hit B to inhale, and then B to exhale. Whoa! Okay. Ah. B to, B to <laughs> inhale, and... Oh, down to gulp. Uh, there we go. Down to sw swallows in with the special, special power. power. I think he's going to get fire. Oh, I get it. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, amazing power of the Nintendo 64 going really slowly. Kirby sl uh, ribbon slams right into Kirby and a couple of the crystal shards together. It's a good thing Kirby's made of rubber, otherwise it would have gone straight through his skull. Look at this helpful boy, he just wants to help the oh, fairy oh. girl then. It's like, hey, did you drop your thing? Here it is! Wow, it got bigger! Cool, man! Kirby's such a good boy. So all those are crystal shots. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! So he's like, don't worry, I'll help you, so <laughs> off they go to go fucking do that shit! Hey, thanks for hitting me in the back of the head, I feel generous now. So level one's pop star. We're gonna go in through different planets in this game. Oh wow, cool! We got a whole uh, <gasps> oh, coloring cool. book full of places to go. So let's go with level one. There's always three shards per level. And uh, excuse me while I take a minute to get my bearings back because one of the things I don't like about this game is how slow it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is one of the slowest Kirby games ever. Like I think it's because the N64 has a uh, baby paper-thin processor that, oh, can't do much. Mm-hmm. But it's just, ugh. All right, now, uh, the thing about this Kirby game is that the stars are a little bit different. They're all color-coded, and you can take these, uh, little, uh, oh, that happens a lot. <laughs> That's, that happens a lot, like, way more than it did for me back in the year 2000. But, uh, I'm just trying to figure out how this works here, because Kirby can throw it one of two directions. He can either toss that power straight up, what or he can fuck? kind of throw it forward. Ah, that's just straight up for you. <laughs> trying, to, trying to set up this great power. This is, like, my favorite one. We're going to set this up right away before we start needing powers to get crystal shards. Okay. So I got that, and... Yeah, oh, shit! There we go! <laughs> All right! That's uh, right, like, come on! Yeah, great tutorial we're getting here, and ah! straight into the wall. Okay, so you're trying to make, uh, I think you told me once the great thing about this game is combining powers. Yes. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> Perfect! That's the one thing that happens in this game that doesn't happen in many other Kirby games. If you can't inhale something, it goes away. Because 3D. There so, we go. Dude! Yeah. That's so cool! A flame sword is one of the best fucking abilities. <laughs> I love this power. That's so cool! Oh, and it looked like it was actually setting you up for that one. Like, it, it had it right in front of you. Uh -huh. So, cutter and fire makes fire sword. Now, 
Is it going to do one of those crappy things where if you have the powers in the opposite configuration, it makes a new power or no? No, 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 no. Okay, cutter, good. Cu cutter and fire is fire and cutter. Okay, good. This looks so happy with that flame sword, like it's the most natural thing in the world. <laughs> it's like his dad just bought him this off eBay. It's like a baby's first sword. This is great. I love it. But well, we got to get rid of it. Ah! Okay. We're gonna be tra we're gonna be trading it out powers a whole lot because uh, I think most of these stages are meant to be played multiple times. But I'm gonna mm -hmm. try and get all the shards in one playthrough, and that means we got to play a little less uh, creatively and a little more strictly. So we okay. got to get bomb. <laughs> bomb and fire equals a bad idea. Oops. It equals a crystal shard by opening that black brick. Oh, okay. Black brick, black bomb. A lot of these uh, oh. stages have color-coded bricks, so if you see something that's green, you use cutter. If you see something that's, like, red, you use fire. Oh, okay. And, and sometimes the blocks will be different colors. Like, uh, two colors at once. Oh god, this guy's so fucking dead. Is it, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my god, this is so scary. <laughs> Uh-oh. Anyway, so uh, Kirby and Ribbon are making their way down the level, and, uh, oh, hey, Waddle D, what's going on, my man? Oh, he's being taken over by TV static. Oh, Jesus! The only time we see a Waddle do, strangely enough. Just in this game? Yep. I thought he Strange. was a normal character. Well, not in, not in this one. Only time we see Waddle do here. Huh. There's no, there's no Waddle Do's in this game, because they got different spark enemies. This game was directed by Shimomura, the guy who did Kirby's Dream Land 2 and Kirby's Dream Land 3. Not Sakurai. Hmm. S Sakurai, I guess, never even looked at this game because he'd probably have some input. <laughs> yeah, I think he was too busy making Super Smash Brothers at that point. That that might have been the case, yeah, because he likes to overwork himself. Yeah, almost to the point of death. Yeah. Guy gave himself carpal tunnel working on 3DS and Wii U. All right, so this is the ending picnic. And we have over here these mystery cards hmm. that we can that uh, unlock like info about enemies and shit. I'm not gonna get all of them, but we're gonna see how many we can get. What I do like about this game though is the Ooh. feeling of at atmosphere. Just yeah. this nice autumn and you know some bells going on here. Oh what? hey, bomb that... and bomb, bomb and stone. Oh, oh dynamo! Ah! <laughs> That was cool! Whoa, okay! <laughs> Not using that! It's dangerous as fuck! Oh god! Oh, that's. That is. That is fabulous! Let's use, uh, Cutter and Stone. Hey, there we go! Whoa! Oh, uh, oh, you encase yourself in. in stone from your different party members! Oh, that's so cool! That's a callback! The friends don't make an appearance in this game, just the friends we're gonna make. It, it's too bad you're going, like, three times as slow. Okay, I think you've shown this uh, off enough. Uh, this is too slow. I think uh. this could be a common theme. It's like, every Nintendo 64 game, you know how, you know, people complain that N64 games are slow now? Back in the day, they were, like, the most innovative thing, but, yeah, coming back? Oh, my God. Oh, my go God. Yeah, I mean, going back from, like, the, the speed I could do in Kirby's Dream Land 3, this is just, like, going through molasses! I mean, did I ever tell you I was always thinking of doing Donkey Kong 64 as kind of like a series we could do? And then I realized that game is slow as fuck, and it would yeah. take forever. I would actually have to speed up the footage for us to talk over just to get anywhere. Ah, uh, just... Nah, man. If we're gonna do a rare <laughs> game, not that one. <laughs> but I love Donkey Kong 64. It's the... It's one of the first games I ever 100%ed. Let's do Banjo-Kazooie instead, man. It'd be much... It's much easier. I don't like that one, though. <laughs> we've already got, we've already got like five ideas for shit anyway. So yeah, right, 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 right. Uh, one idea at a time, and you're almost dead, dude. I'm fine. Don't worry. So Waddle D and actually certain party members, uh, party members, friend members will uh, have little segues for you to make little more uh, these rooms a little bit more interesting, I suppose. Oh, that's nice. And I noticed they couldn't figure out a background for this stage, so it's just missing. Because it's a pit. Oh. Okay. I mean, you know that down there is death, right? But hey, look, three stars, there's a shard. Jeez. Okay. Thanks for nothing, Waddle D. That was one hell of a loading stage. 
Okay, now we're back. It, it just feels like so many limitations imposed. I mean, the models look like... I don't know, man. I gotta say, it's actually running pretty well, all things considered. Yeah, it runs pretty good, but it's because it runs super slow, so it doesn't run bad. <laughs> we have no actual mini-bosses, just bigger versions of enemies. I just realized, can you imagine this game with lag? Oh, God! <laughs> There we go. What is this? Kirby's Adventure? Mm -hmm, yeah. There's another crystal shard. Yeah. Oh, there's some te there's some texture over there. Oh, flipping out. Oh, yep. Is that part of the emulation, or is it part of the original game? So this is Adelaine, the painter from Kirby's Dream Land 3. I guess. I mean, it's not Ado because it looks a little different than Ado, but fuck, it's. It's a painter girl! Things come to life. Oh, gosh! Jesus! <laughs> Dark Matter does not mess around! This game's kind of freaky, actually. Especially when you get horror images like, Fucking this! Oh, no! Oh, please so, kill it. Please kill it. This is a much easier version of the Kirby's Dream Land 3 boss. We're just gonna get enemies that we can just eat. Yum. Oh, is that a Gordo? Oh, it's a spider! Oh! You think, it, you think it will hurt us if we eat it? Nope, it's fine. Oh, a Gibdo! Does that mean that we can't inhale it? Nope. Uh, that's a... Uh, um... That's disgusting! What did you draw? <laughs> that's disgusting! A prolapsed butthole? Ugh. They actually had to censor it. That's pretty funny. It's like uh, Breath of the Wild when you make absolute garbage. <laughs> dubious... <laughs> dubious painting. <laughs> And Ice Dragon, of course, because, well, you gotta throw him yeah. back. Well. Yeah, alright. Oh, I just realized, is this gonna be another instance where the painter goes off screen and just explodes? I don't know. Because I think that would look really bad in 3D. Well, I like how uh, they're using kind of like Paper Mario graphics a little bit, because it's like 2D. Mm-hmm. Neato. Alright, what you got now? Oh, just Dark Matter. How what? Creative. No way! Already? Oh, I, I guess so. It's a lot easier version of Dark Matter. That moves like Krakow, but I realize that we, we can't render Krakow because it looks like cotton balls! <laughs> we can't do it! We can't do it, Shimamara-san! It just can't happen! <laughs> I can just see the guys in the dev team just going, How do we make Krakow? God, it doesn't work! We can't do it! <laughs> I want to see my family again, but I can't do it unless we make Krakow! Ah. Well, I, I guess that counts. Sure. You killed one of your friends. Oh, no. No, 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 no. We're just gathering the party. This is the intro stage, remember? Thing doesn't get... Shit doesn't get real until the next episode, you know? Oh, shit, dog. Kirby's got the moves. Shit, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> so these guys are going to help us out throughout the whole adventure, right? Uh-huh. We got one more guy to pick up, though. One more party member to pick up. Oh, oh shit. well. Oh, well, not getting that one, I suppose. Oh, well. All right. Third level. Let's do it. Ooh, that's cool. We got to get a specific power this time around. At least for the intro. Are those rocket dudes? Yeah. Can you can you be a rocket? I maybe. Don't know. We got a lot of powers to show up, and we got plenty of game to do it. Oh shoot! <laughs> you wow! <laughs> that happens way more than it should. <laughs> that was brilliant. All right, we need double cutter for this one. Ooh, what does double cutter do? It's just, well... Whoa! That's cool! Big old Kirby saw. Yeah, seriously! And how is he doing that? Is he, like, taking himself apart? Yeah, it's like he's ripping off a part of himself like Bubblegum and just throwing it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Kirby's turning into a Langolier! Ah! Uh, he's disgusting! Oh, he had no chance. Oh, oh no, my soda's gone flat. <laughs> I hate the Langoliers, it's such... 
I'm sorry, I had to bring up memories. I guarantee that uh, by the time oh. this episode... Ah! Anyway, cool. I guarantee by the time this episode has been released, I've seen the new It, and I probably have fucking loved it. <laughs> See, now we just need to remake all the little, like, cheesy Stephen Kings, and then we'll be fine. Well, you gotta make them good. It's not the fact that it's that well, was cheesy, right, it's the fact right. that it's actually reputable now. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm in Takashi's castle. Yes, maybe we need to beat the challenge. Or, uh, I can or, uh, or, or, or uh, not get eliminated, you know. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, yeah, on the courtyard, you see a bunch of Japanese people just running and falling over, being hit <laughs> by the giant rocks. <laughs> All right, we're done with that now. Okay, cool. All right, so uh, Adeline is going to paint us some excellent <gasps> tomato. Oh, thanks. Oh, look at Sweet. you. And, well, here's another one over here. Oh, cool. So I have to missed. ask you this because you are a uh, speedrunner viewer. You watch more than I do. Uh, how do yes. you make a speedrun of this interesting? Uh, how do you make a speedrun? <laughs> uh, I've actually been using uh, the task run as a bit of a guide for for a bit of this, just to see you know where exactly geographically the shards are. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, if you want to make a speedrun of this game, you got to use burning and nothing else. Oh, just cut like like burst forward. All right. But, but, but the thing about this burning is that uh, when you it uh, diminishes in power as you go along. So you gotta you gotta use burning and then exhale and then use burning again and then exhale. Just keep doing that. It gets very annoying. But That's... what I do like is double burning. This is probably my favorite one. Whoa! <laughs> Kirby Phoenix. That was cool. I'm gonna use this as long as I can. <laughs> Seriously, that was really cool. <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> like, what? I I'm gonna okay, I found it. Squirt. Ah! Hi. It's me. I oh, not again! This I already happened to Dreamland 3! Ah! <laughs> Ooga booga. So, same shit as in Dreamland 3. Fighting DDD again, alright. Much easier with double fire. No shit. Is that really it? Second phase. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot that was the second phase in Dreamland 3. So this is basically a remake of Dreamland 3 for the N64. Just greatly condensed and abridged. A callback to get you back up to speed. Like previously on Kirby. They'll go off and, uh, well, okay. I call this Sundari DD. Sundari D. Because he has no sincerity. Haha. <laughs> right. it's, it's not like I wanted to be at your picnic or anything. It's not like Baca. I love you for eating meat or anything. I mean, just. B -b 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 Baca! <laughs> <laughs> no, then he'd be King BBB. Hey, it's Wispy! A little bit different than any other iteration. Now he has children, but we're gonna kill his children. What? That's not nice. It isn't nice. Oh, hell yeah. I just turned up the volume and I love this song. And, uh, uh, he's not happy that we just killed his children. Yeah, well, no duh. But he becomes Whoa. very predictable as a result. Uh, a little too high there. Uh. So, how do you hit him? You suck in these uh, apples, and you shoot them at these roots. Oh, okay. That just went a little too high that last time. Doesn't do much more than this. No, Wispy's not looking too bad for 3D. I mean, he looks like a couch pattern, but yeah, I'll get over it. It's the limitations. He looks like a mad carrot that's been, like, <laughs> smashed into the ground, and it's like, you know, flayed on Okay, now we're definitely getting carrot status. <laughs> oh, wispy carrot. Oh, Ooh. come on. Apple to the face! Apple core. 
Yeah, that's, that's it. Hey, there we go. He doesn't even have the tear or anything. This is not my Kirby game. He's just sad. No, I'm a widow and no longer a parent. <laughs> oh, Kirby's well. just all happy. You know, bye. Let's have a picnic. <laughs> and they're using toothpicks. Where do those toothpicks come from? Well. So believe it or not, that's somehow level two. And not just a bunch of uh, cracked walnuts. But yeah, on to level two, which is Rock Star. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I don't. Oh, well, hit it! Next time on Kirby's Dream Life. <laughs>